How you doing, soldier, huh? Oh, I feel like a general. Oh. Never been better. Good. Although I will admit, I'm glad that Andrew will be leading us through the vows, and all I have to do is repeat them. What? You nervous? Well, uh, what's your secret? I have no secret. I'm very nervous. <laughs> How you feeling, soldier? Oh, I'm feeling fine. Like a general. You think we could tear ourselves away from each other long enough to greet our guests? We could try. <laughs> Listen, I think Dad's putting out a great act, but he's in a tremendous amount of pain. And uh, you know, he's hiding it as usual. What should we do? I think we need to skip this reception, get right to the ceremony as soon as possible. Well, then maybe we should. If Vicky knew about it, I'm sure she'd insist on this it. This is the problem. He doesn't want to upset Vicky. He wants everything in this ceremony to go exactly as planned. Vicky, here he is. Oh, Vicky, you look beautiful. You look radiant. Thank you, David. Thank you. Tina said you uh, wanted to talk to me about something. Well, yes. I think you know how much I loved our father, and you're his only living son. I really just wanted you to know how much it means to me to have you share this day with me. Vicky, I'm honored to be here. Oh. All right, you kids. You know, you got to be extra special good today, all right? Because it's a very special day. Thank you very much. For Aunt Vicky and Uncle Sloan. Uncle Sloan, I like the sound of that. <laughs> of course, thank you so much for bringing the children by. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Well, I just didn't do it on account of the kids. I wanted to come by and wish you all the happiness in the world because you deserve it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cord. That means a lot. Happy Thanksgiving, too. Thank you, you, too. Thank you. Come with me, guys. Let's see what we can eat. <laughs> Cord. Tell me the truth. How is he? The truth? He's doing fine. In fact, he asked me to wish you all the best. Good. And he means that. Yeah. I know I know it. I think he does. Thank you. He's an awfully good man. And his son is no slouch either. Well, if you're having second thoughts, now is the time to tell me. I have one thought. I want to be Mrs. Carpenter. Mm -hmm. I've waited a very long time for this day. Well, today is good. The days to come. We'll take it one day at a time. And we will deal with it. Together. You're a brave woman. No, I'm not. I'm a lucky woman. I'm marrying the most wonderful man in this world. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I love you. Where is Sloan? <laughs> Don't tell me that Sloan got nervous and came down on me. <laughs> Beverly, what, what do you know about this? Vicki, I swear, my one and only priority is to see you and Sloan married. <laughs> I'll go look for him, too. Uh, it's all right, Larry. Uh, I'll go. Stay here. Um, I expect he's probably just retying his tie for the umpteenth time. <laughs> Make sure that it's perfect. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, God, Renee, he has to be all right. He's got to be all right. Come on, kids, let's go up here. Come on. Up here. Oh, Larry, out. Larry, what can we do? My car's right outside. No, I don't want to take him in that. Uh, Kevin, call an ambulance. Please, God. God Larry, he's going to be all right, isn't he? Larry. Larry, say something. He was my name. I mean, he recognized me. That's a good sign, isn't it? Isn't it? Atlanta, 1117. Sloan. Sloan, can you hear me? Sloan. 
Boise. Is he going to be all right? We've managed to stabilize him. We stabilized? Well, that's very good, isn't it? I'm uh, going to stabilize him. good news, isn't it? Well, we're still waiting for some test results. What test, Larry? Either you know or you don't know. Look, Vicki, you'll be able to go in there and spend time with him soon. But uh, right now, I've got to get back in there. We're doing everything possible for him. Everything. <laughs> It's still premature. I'm, I'm waiting for the lab to send me out a printout of the Larry. certain indicators. Larry, please, you know how serious this is. Just tell me. Vicki Sloan's Hodgkin has pr progressed a lot more rapidly than anyone had anticipated. Well, all right. So you know that. You can deal with it, right? You can deal with it, can't you? I mean, there must be procedures or medications you can give him now. Vicki, there is no treatment to stop this thing. But you can slow it down. Larry, you must be able to slow it down. You have to give him time. That's all he's asking for, just some time. Honey, there's no way to slow it down. There's no way to give him... I wish there was. What are you saying? That he's never going to leave this hospital? Is this it? It's over? thing I've learned is never say never. But as a doctor, I'm, I have to look at the facts. Well, then, please tell me the facts. I want to know them. We have exhausted everything we can do. As long could live for another day, another week, another month. But when it comes, there is absolutely nothing we can do. I'm not going to discount miraculous cures or spontaneous re remissions. Stranger things have happened, but you're asking me as a friend and as a doctor. I'm afraid that it's just... It's not going to be much longer. Well, I thank you for your honesty. I wish I could lie. I wish... Many other things. Vicki, Sloan has become a very great friend of mine. I want you to know that. I know. Thank you, Larry. May I go be with him now, please? <laughs> 